Okay, now we're going to look at a sentinel value loop. And a sentinel value loop is also known as an indefinite loop. Not infinite, indefinite, which means I don't know how many times I'm going to go through it. Counter controlled, I know how many times I'm going to go through it. I set a counter. Indefinite, I don't know how many times. And I have what's called a sentinel value. The sentinel value is what I'm looking for to continue through the loop. It's part of my um, Boolean test. So, again, this is C-sharp. Don't worry too much about it. Again, here, just start with main. I have a should continue, which is a string. That's a variable name, should continue. The first thing I say is, do you want to continue? I print that out on the uh, council. And then read back what the person put in, yes or no. And it has to be a capital Y for yes. A small y is not the same thing, we'll exit the loop. So while this is true, while should continue use a capital Y, we'll go through the body of the loop. And it'll print out hello. Then I'm going to ask again, do you want to continue? Yes or no? I'll read it in. And as long as this is true, should continue equals Y, I'll keep going through this loop. As soon as should continue is not true, I exit the loop and I'll write goodbye. So let's start the program up. Do you want to continue? Now I set this on caps lock, so hopefully this will work. Yes, hello. And as long as I keep answering yes, this will keep printing hello. And as soon as I answer something else, goodbye and the program ends. So this is a sentinel value loop. Again, I read in and I continue right here and check it out. So uh, hopefully you understand this. Any questions, again, just put it on the uh, discussion board and we'll uh, talk about it. Thank you for watching.